Hello, my name is Tim Collins. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of the most important skills any jazz vibraphonist can have, and that is to be able to harmonize the melody. I'm going to use the tune There Is No Greater Love as an example. I'll demonstrate it first on the piano, and then I will take it over to the vibraphone and show you exactly how it works on the vibes. So let's start with the melody There Is No Greater Love. It's in the key of B flat, and the melody goes like this. That section of the melody is harmonized with B-flat major, E-flat 7, A-flat 7, G7, C7, and then C minor 7 to F7. But if you want to play both of those chords and the melody at the same time, the general rule is you'll play the chord on the downbeat of each bar, and you will voice that chord with whatever the melody note is on the top. So the first part of the melody is right there, that's beat one. The other three notes are a pickup. So beat one, it's a B flat major chord and it has a B flat on the top. Now in this situation, even though a lot of chord charts might say B flat major seven, I dislike playing a major seven chord with the, seven, with the melody note as the octave voiced on top because you have this half step right on the top. And that actually, to me, kind of gets in the way of the melody. So I prefer to play a B flat six chord right there. So I would go like this. Okay. Then right there on that F, that's the E flat dominant seventh chord, but because we're playing an F, so the full chord would be the F is actually making it an E flat dominant nine chord. On the vibraphone we only have four notes, so I'm going to leave the root out and I'm going to play it like this. So we have from the beginning Right there on that D, that D is harmonized. Sometimes people play D7, most people play A flat 7 there. And if you play an A flat 7 chord with a D on top, what you're really playing is A flat 7 sharp 11. And so on the vibraphone, we have different choices for how to voice it. I generally do something like this or this. So from the beginning again. You could also just play those three note voicings. And the next chord is a G7. So you're going to use third inversion to keep the D on top. That's a C7 chord with the G on top because the G is the melody. Now here, it's a C minor with the C on top. You could do a closed voicing like this, but I like to do an open voicing like that. And then you just go from there to the F9 chord. Notice that I've kept the G here and that is the ninth, as we are assuming that there's a bass player in the house somewhere who's going to play an F. So the A section in full with the melody harmonized on top is like this. Right there, the melody goes, and on those chords it's two, five, one, C minor seven to F seven to B flat six. Now you have some options there. You could play C minor nine without the root, and then you could play F seven with a flat nine, also without the root, and then end it on that B flat six chord. Instead of playing B flat six, you could play B flat with an added two, like this. These are your options. When you have the root on the top of the chord, it makes it kind of difficult to use the major seventh. I suppose you could if you really want, but I don't really like that. I don't really like that crunch up there, and it's, it sounds even worse on the vibraphone, so I tend to avoid it. Now, let's talk about the bridge. The melody goes like this. Okay, and the chords are, sometimes you'll get the A minor seven flat five to D seven to G minor 7. Other times you'll just get D7 to G. Either one is fine. I'm going to use the first one to harmonize. So it's C7, F7, 
through seven. Now let's harmonize it. It's quite simple. So the first note, the D, is actually going to be harmonized by an A minor seven flat five. If you play A minor seven flat five with a D on top, you really have A minor eleven flat five. A minor seven, E minor eleven flat five to D seven with a flat nine without the root, and you can just go up that. And for fun, I like to substitute the major sixth on the minor chord, G, mi G minor with a major sixth, or G minor seven is fine. That C7 with the C on top. Now this note is not on a vibraphone unless you have one of those atoms that goes down to the low E. So you could just play these three and then an F, or what I like to do is play the chord and then repeat it up an octave to get that full harmony. When the melody goes low on the range of the vibraphone, I have a tendency to play the melody and then repeat the chord somewhere up an octave to get the harmony.